All right, so you can see we have the jumper set here on the 81. What that does is it parallels the internal load, so that way we can um, we can bridge them together and just use one of the output leads. And this is 12 gauge OFC wire going into the amp for the speaker terminals. So let's go into mode. We'll go into certified, and we're going to choose mono. And yes, we've got those connected. And then we'll go to 4 ohms and enter. And then we just need to make sure we're on the right track. It to be track 4 or 9. And we're on track 4. We got these ripped to the iPod Nano as Apple lossless format. And we've already um, tested the output and got all the DD1 set for this unit and the amplifier. So let's go ahead and hit start dyno and then we'll unpause the track and let's watch what she does smack your mama 345 watts and that is certified mode at 4 ohms 345 and here's the interesting thing and I wanted to uh, shout out to my buddy CJ at Dropping Hertz. He uh, he gave me his little cheat sheet here, and I'm going to modify it a little bit, but uh, this made it simpler to do my test. You can see the ratings. Um, at 8 ohms bridge, 120 watts. 4 ohms is 240, and 2 ohms is 300. That's the ratings from Kicker at 12.5 volts. So the cool thing about this is we just got right at 12.5, and we'll put... 12.5 and you can see how much it's underrated now I realize for you guys who are into the big you know multiple thousand watt amps this is not much I mean we're talking you know less than 500 watts but the big deal here is they you know they um, rated it at 240 watts and you're getting a hundred more watts than that at the same voltage that's pretty incredible so Talking about amps being underrated, these Kicker ZRs, from what I've seen, are definitely that way. So let's uh, hit up the next test, which we'll do a 2-ohm certified.